Welcome to a new edition of the 10 minute topic for Anglican TV. On the opposite side of me over there is Thomas McKenzie. I know you're thinking Eleanor Rigby. I know that I know that where this comes from. I, I've heard the name before. That must be the biggest joke you get. I get it <laughs> usually about every six months from a teenager who has just discovered the Beatles. <laughs> okay. They come up to me and they say, do you know you're in a Beatles song? <laughs> Yeah, I'm aware that I've been a Beatles. Well, <laughs> well, this is the first time I think I've met you. Um, yeah. And I want to talk about an article I saw in the paper uh, that had you on it. I'm going to let the audience see the article and broadcast it over here. Uh, it shows you on your front porch with the cup and the bread, and you're handing out communion. Yes. Uh, desperate times call from desperate method, methods in order that we may glorify God and you have found a way uh, it made the papers because people need to be encouraged and served in this time how did yeah. you uh, come up with this um, well I re this last Sunday I realized we were going to have a lot fewer people in church than usual Mm -hmm. And we streamed our church service for the first time, which I wasn't Good. excited about <laughs> because I don't like that. No, sure. But we did it, and we had a lot more people watching it than were in the room. Um, and I feel like word, it's, since we're a church of word and sacrament, word you can pretty much do online, but sacrament, you can't really do that online and so i wanted to extend the distribution of communion <clears throat> excuse me past sunday morning and i thought about how we extend that usually by taking the sacrament to people who are homebound or in the hospital or things like that and so i decided rather than try to take the sacrament to everybody in the church which would have been very difficult um just time wise if I set up outside the church in the front parking lot, we have a circular drive. <laughs> if I set out outside the church, then perhaps people could come by and I could give them communion in a similar way that I would give it to them if they were in their hospital bed. Um, so it doesn't take long. Um, I can do it with some appropriate social distance until, of course, I have to place it in their hands, but I have... I sanitize, you know, and keep back and we do all the things and we obviously we pray together and hand it to them. The, the bishop um, asked that people, if possible, would watch the service before they came to take communion, which makes sense so that they can have it sure. in the context of the, of the well, liturgy. These are pre-consecrated uh, elements that you have at the... Uh, the table on your front porch. Right. You're not These doing a Eucharist right there. Sunday morning. Yeah. Um, and I'm just continuing the distribution as if they were in a hospital bed. Mm -hmm. Except they're in the hospital bed. Uh -oh, we are frozen. Oh, no, we're good. We're good. Yeah. I, I, I edit out the frozen most of the time. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. Anytime somebody's called, like, <laughs> you, you, you got to take that out. So, I'm seeing different ideas around uh, the world as to what people are going to do because basically here in Connecticut, we're in lockdown. We're not allowed to attend church, no, no gatherings of 10 people or more. All the restaurants are closed, all the bowling alleys, all the dining facilities, everything is shut down uh, for all intents and purposes. You can go to the grocery store, you can go and get gas, you can drive to work. That's, yeah. that's about it. This changes everything. Yes. Uh, th this yeah. pandemic uh, changes everything, but in reality, all it does is make it inconvenient. We're going to have to live in a new world for a little while yeah. as we get used to glorifying God in a new way. Yeah. Uh, have you seen any other ideas that interest you out there? Um, I think that the only the only thing I've seen that I feel like is uh, is particularly interesting. <laughs> Was there's a priest who um, took pictures of everyone in his congregation and oh, that was nice. pictures up in the pew. 
I literally had thought about that a couple of days ago, but then decided that that would be too much color ink out of my printer. <laughs> <laughs> ink. So I decided not to do that. Um, but it makes sense because I feel like I am not looking forward to this Sunday when we have five or six people in church and I'm celebrating communion with, you know, a couple of lay Christic ministers and a couple of people on a, in the music team. And how I, it just gonna, it, it feels weird thinking about it. Um, because for me, a big part of our faith is about incarnation and about being in the presence uh, of other people. And so to have this time when we have to not be physically in the presence of other people is um, difficult for me, like both theologically and emotionally. Um, so I think what we have to do is we have to explore the virtual world, you know, and use it to the best of our ability while at the same time, you know, not becoming, you know, Gnostics <laughs> and thinking that, you know, that it's, oh, that it's, that our faith isn't embodied in some way. And so, I mean, I don't know what else there is. The, around here, a lot of these, I'm in a land of evangelical megachurches. Sure. Most of them, all of them stream their services. Yeah. And, you know, this is, um, this is no change for them. I think for smaller churches um, and liturgical churches, it's going to be a, a bigger difficulty um, trying to figure out how to do the technology well. We can do the technology well here because we have professional people who happen to go to church here. But um, I'm, I'm concerned for the guy who has like 50 people in his church and they're like, I don't even use Facebook or <laughs> Or yeah, well, uh, I'm trying to help that. Uh, Angle TV has set up a Facebook page called uh, Church Lives, inexpensive church live streaming, mm. uh, where people can go and uh, put up a couple of videos already of uh, how to bring yourselves up to speed. Mm. I'm trying to bring ten knowledge of minute of ten years of knowledge into ten minutes. Not going to work that well, but uh, we're trying to help as many people as possible. And you're right. One of the big challenges is, you know, uh, great grandma Eleanor doesn't use Facebook right. and she wants to attend the service and I we can't let her in here because uh, the chances of something going bad are wrong yeah so it, it, it's a great difficulty um, well I want to thank you for your great ideas uh, and uh, for joining us on 10 minute topic yep. uh, for those new to the program every day for this pandemic as long as I can I'm going to try and put up uh, at least a 10 minute video with interview interviews I do around the world and I want to thank you Tom McKenzie father for joining us. You're welcome. Glad to be here. <laughs>